it's raining. We've already flooded in two rooms. This is our front porch. This is the floor we just had to pull up in our house. Oh my gosh. This is our other front porch. It is, we've got water coming in. Oh my God. This is our rollout. This is really happening. We've had a flood. Shay called insurance and they said where well, you don't have flood coverage. So we've had really bad weather. That's what's happening at the moment. A mess. It's up under this extra refrigerator. So this is, we've got it pretty much under control at the moment. Had to move everything out of there. So it's moved into here. Everything out of the office just is everywhere. This room's good. Our drain was clogged outside. She was able to get on the skid stir and get it unclogged. The storm caused it to clog. So all this water was everywhere. Luckily, I'm just so thankful we were home. We pulled up this whole floor. We had to move everything. This little section's dry, but we're about to move it too. So Shay said, I may have to mess up the yard a little bit, babe. I think it's gonna be more than a little bit. This is really happening. Shay said, I may have to tear up the yard just a little. That was a little. No, Astro, get back in the house, get back in. This is what my husband called a little. He said he had to do a little to make sure we didn't have any more issues while it's raining today. A little damage. Oh my gosh. But at least the rain's off our front porch. It's not always roses. No pun intended since all my rose bushes are gone on real life with the Copelands. We just literally took out. I cannot believe this. Our whole flower beds. Please. We've had so much rain. Shay said he was gonna have to do just a little damage to the front yard. <laughs> Like your definition of a little. Oh dear God. We have drains, that's what he's uncovering out here, but then he tore out all of our rose bushes and flower beds. Watch out. Can I please have grape? I don't care. Shay, are you ready? I want to go back on vacation. <laughs> I thought I was ready to come home. Oh. But I can't imagine. Like, I can't imagine if we weren't home and this happened when. I know, it's with, a blessing. This is a blessing. With the kids. Like, this is a big blessing. What if we would have gone somewhere today? Even. Or what if we would have been on vacation? It was just... Uh, it's a blessing that we were here. Yeah. It was, but it's a mess. Maverick, do you think we should just sell our house and move? Hey. 
head now. <laughs> Why are you covering your face? Well, because I look so bad. It's nine thirty, and we have no makeup. Everyone's decided <laughs> that they're hungry, so. We, we're going yeah, to. We have to wash. We have to wash all the towels. Well, every we've used every towel. And to dry up three rooms. Well, hold on, hold on. I so, have to. so we have. Look at Kimberly. She doesn't want. She doesn't have any makeup on. I look horrible. I mean, so we have all these. I mean, I have horrible. like a uh, lawn bag, two lawn I'm bags, not... two lawn bags full of towels. To... Change. Yeah. We got changed. Oh my so I was like, well, let's take him to the laundromat. And Kimberly's like, we have a laundromat? I'm like, yeah, there's one in town. And uh, so we were talking about, she's never been to a laundromat I've never before. Been to a laundromat. She's never been one. I know. In college. Yeah, like, why in, would I go to a laundry mat? In college. I've always owned a washer and dryer. In college, I didn't have a washer and dryer, so I had to go to a laundromat. So it's just not look at me tonight. So I've been so we're in line at Dairy Queen. So we're getting Dairy Queen first because they close in 30 minutes. Five fifty. They might spit our food, guys. No, no, they're, they're not. not. We were out of detergent. We've got to run to the dollar store. Yeah. We're, we're rolling with this. Yeah. Man, we I wish I had a this. smart sure. blizzard C6. Man. All my lashes are off. We're taking care of business. Our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Astro died? <laughs> Where is Astro? I put him in the sun room. Oh. oh. <laughs> Where is Astro? We're having a day, peeps. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I wish they would buy no, me a No, my lashes really are back. off. I have a lash appointment I tomorrow. Wish would, I wish I, they would I mean, buy me a Spores so Blizzard. So I wish they would go to Sonic. We, there's too much yeah. going on. Sonic. So, we're sorry, peeps. <laughs> we need a Spores Blizzard. Memphis, you ready to wash clothes? You're doing it. This was my first trip to the laundry mat. What is that music? It's like scary. I'm worried. Should we go to the other one? Come on, that one's nice. Oh, no, 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 I wanna, I wanna put. You're fancy. You're fancy, I wanna put some. Honey. Memphis, you're a good worker. I'm trying to get them out. I told him to get them out. It's gonna be the floor wet. So, this. I'm all in. I'm gonna chiss it. Mom. Hey, Mom. Mom, Maverick's filming! <laughs> well, Dad, anything you want to say? Entertained at the laundry mat. <laughs> See, there's things to be grateful for. We need to be grateful for many things. Okay, let's list them. What are we grateful for? I'm grateful that I have a great house, but I'm not grateful that it's I'm grateful that it was from the bottom and not from the top. And I'm grateful that we were home. And I'm not grateful. on vacation. I'm grateful that I just I didn't hit my head on this laundry thing just a second ago. I put my hand out. I'm grateful was, for that too. I was running what? and I saw I hit my Hurry up. scar and it's about to bust open. They're real wound up here at 11 o'clock at night at the laundry mat. It's 11 yeah. Well, I would be on playing video. Yes. 
Get off that. People throw their clothes on that. Yeah, Get they don't want your there. feet off of there. That needs to stay clean. Get, no, don't step. I don't think I'm doing a good job. You're not. Just to give y'all a view of our current situation, Restorers, restoration has come out. These boards are up. The places that she brought needed to be cut out or cut out. All this is just from other rooms sitting in here. So all these are gonna get replaced. Every baseboard in this room is spent. So this, the good thing is the sheetrock wasn't damaged back over here, just the baseboards. So we're going to have a three day process the humidifiers all this drying out and then this is just more stuff from other rooms by the way my house does not normally look like this then this floor all got pulled up with the concrete underneath and back in this and our safe all this floor had to get pulled up up this entire room that she broke was okay too and she's got to get dry for three days but floors are up we have wood floors we're going to go with tile so hopefully this won't happen again so this is our workout room Astro no. shout out to the C6 fam. We haven't vlogged in a few days. It's been crazy, y'all. We got this flood and we've been doing um, damage control ever since restoration came out. It's been trying to get everything dried out, stuff that needed to get thrown away, thrown away. Got a trailer full of stuff we had to get rid of. And um, I've got a huge workshop that's happening at the house next week. Actually, two of them. So, getting everything back in order has really been around the clock. So, we have not had any time to video any of it because it's just been um, solid labor. So, that being said, I am in the car right now. I'm waiting on the Shug. He's brushing his teeth to come on because we're headed to the party store to get all the paper goods. And for my workshop, we've got 15 people, seven flying in from North Carolina and then seven from different areas in Texas coming in. Staying at the house, we have a full-blown um, day and night workshop that I put on every year. So I'm super, I, I, it's my favorite event that we do. Um, it's just with some incredible leaders and just people I love to spend time with. So I'm um, gearing up for them. And Shay's actually at the store right now. I'm making chicken angeladas for everybody. So I'm about to roll up about 60 chicken angeladas and um, getting everything prepped today. So the workshop I do tomorrow night is just a small, close knit group of people that are coming out to um, be imparted by one of my friends. So I'm doing that tomorrow. And then everybody else comes on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, it's, uh-oh, we got to put Astro up. Astro got out. It's always chaos, y'all. Put Astro up. What? Okay, put him. You were getting guns? I just wanted 
Okay, Woo! that's fine. It's fine. They need to, he needs to put Astro up. So as you see, it's Mass Chaos as always. Say hey to the C6 fam, Memphis. He says, hey. Now they've let Astro out. Okay, I got to go help them. Talk to y'all later. I'll keep you posted. One thing I do want to say is attitude is everything because when you've got something major going on, like we have, I mean, it was scary, number one, when it was flooding. The rain was coming down so hard and so fast. And, you know, then just dealing with everything we had to deal with in the aftermath. Everything's just perspective. And we talk a lot about perspective is... Yes, we were at the laundromat late at night. Yes, um, we've been cleaning up around the clock, but I'm just so grateful that for the help, number one, that we've had. Number two, grateful that I had eight loads of towels that needed to be washed because I can tell you we were starting to go to, those were actually towels that are like pool towels we didn't even go into our bathroom towels. So I was just thinking, you know, what a blessing. And I can look at it as, oh my gosh, we had to go wash towels till, you know, midnight. Or thank God we had the towels to dry up the water to keep the damage from being any worse than it already was. And then we had the privilege of going and washing those so they didn't mildew. You know, everything's just your perspective and then not being lazy. I just think so many people are lazy or would have just left the towels in because it was, I mean, it was a whipping to go do what we've been doing and not just the towels, a million other things, but, you know, cleaning things out. And I just said to one of the girls that helps me, she'd actually sprained her ankle last week. And so she wasn't able to come. And I said to her, you know, the blessing that came from this, we are cleaning out so much stuff that needed to get cleaned out. So there's always, there's always a rainbow, right? So you just gotta find the right mental attitude no matter what happens, that you just roll your sleeves up. What I found, if I'll just roll my sleeves up and work, anything can get solved. So stay mentally good and do the work and things will work out. They always do.